Good morning, everybody. It is Vlogist Day 8. Can you believe it? My goodness, a whole week already gone. Anyway, this is it. This is what you're getting this morning. This is what it looks like after a busy week of travel, only to come home and have a super busy Sunday. I am feeling it today, you guys. Was hoping to be able to sleep in and catch up on some rest today. <clears throat> but alas, that will not happen. The air conditioner man is finally coming. Those of you who have been seeing our journey and know about all of our mold issues will understand how excited we are to finally be getting in the new new unit. The unit we have works great. It's just filled with mold and it keeps, hear how nasally I am? We've been home a day and a half and I'm already super nasally again. So it was definitely be it nice being away from the mold and feeling good for a week and having no symptoms and no reactions. So we're hoping with this new AC unit will feel the same way here that we did away. They're just coming today to draw out the schematic of where all the vents are so they can have all their supplies in order and hopefully the middle of the week we will be getting that new unit. So that's exciting. So that means all the cleaning from all the stuff we've just dumped everywhere has to be done this morning before they get here. <laughs> you know how that goes. So it's going to be another super busy day. So hopefully you'll stay along for the ride. All right, look at here, you guys. All the newspapers from yesterday. We'll be clipping coupons today too and doing a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So here we are getting things set up for our Dollar Tree haul. This is what it looks like when we do it. We just use this big old bar here in the kitchen and Bub gets the camera all set up for me on the tripod and we hook up our lights. Just in case you're interested about the lights we use, these are just simply little desk lights that we got at Walmart. They have the flexible necks so that you can turn those lights any way you need to. And we do put the daytime bulbs in there. And then these lights here, I do have these linked for you down below. We purchased these through Amazon. These are the big pedestal lights. This comes in a set of three. There are two that are this size with the umbrellas and then there's a smaller one just for the face. So anyway, we pull that in here to add just a little bit of extra day light lighting so that the videos are nice and crisp and clear. So before you guys see this vlog, you will have already seen this Dollar Tree haul. So hope this gives you a little behind the scenes with that. All right, there you go, guys. The Dollar Tree haul is finally done, and it will be live here soon. Dollar Tree haul is finished, and next up on the agenda is going through all 10 of these newspapers to clip my coupons. It's an every Monday thing, y'all. Still plugging away at the coupons, you guys. It does take a couple of hours on Mondays to get these done. Got them all separated out and pulling them apart now. I like to put them in stacks of tens so that I can cut them a little easier and then they're all ready to go. And while I do that, I usually sit here and catch up on some of your videos. Right now I'm watching Michelle over at Way to Sun. If you guys haven't checked her out yet, go ahead and do so. I'm gonna have her linked for you down below. And that is the way that I spend most of my time on Mondays. All right, you guys, some more behind the scenes. We are about to do a cook with me video for you guys, and I am gonna show you all how to make some corn fritters. He's got the camera adjusted. We've got the lights going. So this is what it looks like whenever we are doing a cook with me for you all. Of course, you don't see none of the big mess once it's all put together. And so it is behind the scenes on the set of Cook With Me. <laughs> as though this were really a set, right? Anyway, that video should be up before you watch this vlog. So if you haven't seen it yet, go on back and watch it. I'll have it linked for you down below. They are super yummy. So I hope you guys will try them out. Let me know what you think of them. And I'm about to get started because I am ready to chow down. All right, everybody. So the corn fritters are all done. Look how wonderful they are. So let's bite in and see how they taste. You can see the remnants of my little mess back there. They're really not too messy to make and they really don't even take a long time to do it. So let's see. Mm-hmm. Very good. They're not messy to make, but they are kind of messy to eat. 
but that's what makes it oh so good. Well, you guys, it is 9.45 and I am still working on these coupons because I did take a little bit of a break to film for you all those corn fritters. Hope that you've had a chance to watch those because they are super yummy. And then we just got takeout from McDonald's tonight since I had such a busy day filming and couponing. Didn't take time to cook a meal, so I thought I'd turn the camera around and kind of show you guys a little bit of what I do when I'm organizing these coupons, and if you guys want a more detailed video on that, then just let me know and I can add it to the Couponing 101 playlist that I have. Just let me know down below if that's something that you all would like to see, but I'm going to turn the camera around and just kind of show you a little bit of what I do every Monday. So you can see all my different piles going on here. As I cut the coupons out, I disperse them into different piles based on the categories that I have in my binders. Now you're gonna notice this little box right here has the same categories in it that my binders do. And as my table gets full, which you can see it practically is right now, then I transfer each pile, say like this is my pizza pile. I'll find the pizza section in here and then I'll stuff those coupons in here until I get everything all cut out and then I move them from this box into my binder because I have to go through each of the categories in my binder pulling out the old coupons that have expired prior to today. So I'll pull the old ones out and then place the new ones in and that is just a smooth and easy system that seems to work for me. So if you guys are interested in kind of seeing a detailed in-depth video on that, I would be happy to do it for you. I do have some other Couponing 101 videos in a Couponing 101 playlist, and I'll have that listed for you down below because there is some good information in there. And hopefully, I'll be able to be back in the swing of all that here soon. Just so much going on with life that I haven't been doing it as intensely as I once was. But at any rate, I'm going to finish off these coupons tonight. It is already about 1030. It'll take me just a little bit longer to get those done. But I am going to get my shower. You guys can see I am looking rough today. It's just been one of those days to be inside the house doing some filming for you guys, getting some videos up, and then doing this the couponing that I always do on Mondays to get ready for shopping later during the week. So I'm looking rough. You'll have to forgive me for not dressing up for all of you guys. This is just what it is. If you're going to hang out with me a day around my house, this is what you get. So I'm about to go get a shower. going to call it an evening, but I will see you all tomorrow.